If Billy Collins was sitting in this coffee house, he'd probably be tempted to use an iPhone to read the news, just to be trendy in our little wine country town, just to amuse those who love literature over popular writing, or to try to get a dog to roll over for a treat, play checkers with some kids who live down the street. He might even make a lanyard to show he remembers summer camp, light a candle to defy a lamp, take off his shoes near the Russian River to fill mud ooze between his toes, and then do the New York Times crossword puzzle written by a local such as Jerome to show he too can play this wordsmith game aiming his words at the page like a marksman who has never read the Second Amendment but knows how to hit the target. <laughs> yeah. and this is called In the Cloud. A friend of mine said he was in the cloud and I thought for a moment about that and I wondered if it was the kind of cloud that had angels strumming harps or playing shuffleboard like they were on an eternal princess cruise with God. Could they all look down on us and see the mess we've made, glad not to be in port now and never returning? Then he told me he was riding in the cloud and I thought about a small plane circling above, writing love messages to all the women who ever dreamed of having their names near the sun, sent there by men who had enough money to write in the clouds. But then they were suddenly saddened like Icarus, as the words melted like the wax on his wings, and the words tumbled earthward. No, not like that, he said. More like the commercial, where the people are on their computers, floating on little clouds, typing away, making the world one big floating office, each cloud a cubicle, and those captured by technology, thriving on the promise of tomorrow, an immortal release into that electronic eternity. <laughs> and finally, this one, the loss. I see millions mourn the loss of a man who lived a couple thousand years ago, yet I don't see them cry for someone here and now, the homeless man who froze to death, the elderly woman on food stamps, the father with cancer who left behind, a child too young to know about life or death. I understand the story. I even understand the love for someone unknown, like the girl I had a crush on in high school. How can so many people think a man from the past is more important than a friend, a family member, or even the random stranger who needs us now? How did people put the ancient past before the present and forget the old man's message? Mm -hmm.